How's it going, man? Oh, not bad. Good. Thanks. got a call. Yeah, I know. And it's over. If this road, he says it's private, but there's no sign saying it's not. So, I mean, and there's the, the parking lot's right there, right? That's where you go in to visit somebody, right? So, this is the open road, right? I don't know where the right and see and then he's trying to tell me it's private but I, I know it's not you know it's not because the public that, how do i go visit somebody if i want to visit somebody right well the parking lot's there. right so that's where i mean i would go to to the door though to find out you know on information on how to visit somebody right yeah but i mean that, that parking lot's not like that's their problem right 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 see and i say it on you're good as long yeah. as you're on the, like, the road roadway. right right the roadway like meaning this roadway oh see no Hello YouTube, on today's episode of Know Your Rights, we will be covering a video from the YouTube channel, Illinois Tyrant Patrol. Please take a moment and head over to their YouTube channel and show them some love by subscribing to their channel. Before we break down this footage, I want to take a moment and talk to you about We the People University. If you haven't heard about this online course, I want to let you in on a little secret. Its sole purpose is to train you to know what it takes to make sure you are not unfairly treated by the police ever again. Who better to teach you what to do when the police try to search you or your property illegally or violate any of your constitutional rights than former police officer and sheriff's deputy Abaya Israel. Learning your basic rights is an easy process. The only thing it takes is you being willing to learn. Do you want to learn all the trick questions that police ask during a traffic stop? Do you want to take back control from the police? If so, please click on the link in the description below. You will learn the secret of taking control of your constitutional rights back from the tyrants who abuse the law. Now let's get into today's video. Today's video took place on June 27, 2021 at the Iowa State Penitentiary in Fort Madison, Iowa. The auditor in today's video was doing a First Amendment audit of the prison when he was told by a patrolling officer that a road leading to the visitor's parking lot was a private road and he was not allowed to be on it. Soon after, the police show up to enforce this illegal claim. Now, let's dive right into today's video and break down this footage. How's it going, man? Oh, not bad. Good. Thanks. We got a call. Yeah, I know. And it's over. If this road, he says it's private, but there's no sign saying it's not. So, I mean, and there's the, the parking lot's right there, right? That's where you go in to visit somebody, right? So, this is open road, right? I don't know where the right and see and then he's trying to tell me it's private but I, I know it's not you know it's not because the public that how do i go visit somebody if i want to visit somebody right well the parking lot's there right so that's where i mean i would go to to the door though to find out you know on information on how to visit somebody right yeah but i mean that, that parking lot's not like that's their problem right 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 see and i say it on you're good as long yeah. as you're on like the road roadway. right right the roadway like it, meaning this roadway oh see no 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 see that's where that's where i'm gonna contest because um there's no sign saying i can't go down this road he said there's no uh, no access you know no public access um only whatever personnel well that's warning canine dog on premises right there's no signs all the way down this road none zero zilch right but this road so i rode it a drive. okay but it's the drive to the accessible point of the prison where you go in to visit somebody but it's like okay so my house has a driveway right, right? and that's how up to your house or up your sidewalk right. to knock on your door but the driveway is still my property right, right? so this driveway is still their property it's not technically public property like a roadway anybody can use it. right or property. you know i mean this is and all like, public like i said i don't know where the line is right and that's, that's their discrepancy yeah. right and see that's um, what i'm saying but look what, what's this coming up the street here that's pizza door. pizza guy i open up the public he can, he can take pizza in there and deliver it to somebody why can't i drive down that road same, or, same reason why I mean that's the thing my yeah I'm, I'm just saying I'm, thing, though. I'm, I'm here they can, they have the to right get information on how to visit right at a certain point they're allowed to tell somebody to get off this sure sure but roadway. but like I said though what if I'm trying to get information on how to visit somebody I, I mean I, I have to go inside 
Yeah, and you're welcome to come down the road. That's what I was trying to do, and he told me I had to leave. And he has the right to tell you to leave. How, though? Like, just like my driveway, I can tell you to leave as soon as you go on. Okay. Let me go find where the line is. Well, I, I, I kind of want you to talk to the chief, you know, the warden or whatever, because, I mean, I feel that this is still accessible for me to go down and go into the freaking front door right there and try to get information or get public records. As long as they're okay with you coming there. Right. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I mean, he, I don't have to tell him my business. I have to tell the front desk my business. Right. Right. He, he's an employee. But he's not. I don't have to answer to him. You do? No, I don't. Yeah. And I don't have to answer to you. Because you're my employee. You're on private property. He has right to tell you to Because he's an employee. But I'm trying to go inside to get information on public records requests in there. I want to see how many inmates are in there. I want to see how many officers work here. I, I want all of it. Okay. And you can go down to like courthouse and request those information. That's a no, you, you do that at the at the prison or the jail. That's why I've always done it at. Because they have open FOIA requests right there. Okay, so can I get your name and badge number before you drive off? Yeah, it's Warsh uh -huh. and the badge number 209. Warsh, badge Warsh. number 209. All right, thank you, man. No, I mean, yeah. so uh, let me explain to you why I'm here, right? Yeah. So they, this is a county issue. I right. work for the city. Mm -hmm. County's a ways out. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're, you're here until I'm, county comes. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, no, that, that, and that's, that's why I'm okay. just trying to stress my point that, I mean, if it's a privately, you know, a only authorized personnel road, or what what he said is authorized personnel i mean there's only supposed to be on this road but well then how do you go back to the parking lot okay let me ask you this just just food for food for thought sure okay so let's say you got two neighbors that live in town houses are close together right? mm -hmm. so you're trying to figure out well that's what he said too i mean that's and this is how do you figure out who mows what what you do is a gis survey okay okay and the gis survey shows this road is publicly accessible do you go up to somebody's house to figure out where their property line is and ask them for their GSI survey? No, you look it on Google. I mean, are you not, you know, here in the brain or something? County website. I mean, it's a county website, yeah, which we did. And this is a publicly accessible road because it goes to the parking lot. Now, that one down there, there's a sign, authorized personnel only, which you can't go past that point. Okay, cool. That's why we came down here, because I knew you could go past this point. You guys have your IDs on here. Oh no, um, uh, hold on a second here. They're fine with you filming and everything. Mm -hmm. um, they just want you to stay on the uh, uh, shoulder of the roadway. Here you go. You got your name and date of birth? Yeah, I got my name, hold on. How do you spell your first name? <laughs> uh, Y-O-U-R. F I R S T N A M E. Your first name. Okay, so you just need to stay on the shoulder of the roadway. Okay, you need to stay off the drive. Okay. Okay. Is there is there uh, somebody else that's better informed than you guys coming? Because obviously nobody's informed. Oh, wow. Um, this this is fully accessible, which I believe it is because there's no signs to say all no authorized personnel or only authorized personnel. That is a public parking lot for visitors if they want to go in, and that's the same place you go in if you want to get information on the prison, right? Okay, so, I mean, I want to go up to the door and get my information and leave. That's what I want to do. That's why I'm here. The prison has a right to, to not want you on the property. They can, they can request that you leave the property if they want to. I can understand they can request. That's a request. Um, there's a difference between a request and an actual order. Okay. Well, so requested us to ask you to move. Okay. Then again, you're asked away. and you're asking me, so I'm going to deny and I'm going to stay here and film. Okay. Then you could be possibly placed under arrest. For what? Trespass. For trespass on public property? On a public easement? I don't think so. You know how big of a lawsuit you would get into for that? And your qualified immunity would be gone. Gone! I would take your department for everything it's got. Millions. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, we're not going to be concerned about you standing out here and filming. If you go and approach that prison again and we get a call about it, we're going to come up here and arrest you. Oh, so you're threatening me with arrest for being on a publicly accessible road? That you, leads you've been, up? You've been told by an employee from, from the prison to stay off the prison grounds. 
So, so I'm not I'm not allowed to go up and get information. No. Nope. No. Okay. Yep. So you're denying me access to uh, information from the prison. Yes, I am. Okay. And who are you? Captain Carl with the Fort Madison Police Department. Okay. Ultimately, the police broke contact with the auditor, and the auditor stayed and continued to film the prison property. The auditor did not approach the prison again on the road leading to the public parking lot, and no further contact with law enforcement was made. A quick update to this video. Since the auditor was at this location, this picture shows that the prison officials have done to make this a private drive. Notice the gate, and notice the no trespassing sign. They should have done these things a long time ago. Well, YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please remember, take a moment and head over to Illinois Tyrant Patrol's YouTube channel and show them some love by subscribing to their channel. If you like this video and you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you have a, a video you would like me to break down, please submit the video at knowyourrightsnews at gmail.com. The link is in the description below. And while you're down in the description, please don't forget to get your free copy of my new ebook, Remain Silent. Until next time, YouTube, stay safe out there.